Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel and if you're new to this channel, please do subscribe and hit the like button if you like this uh, video. So in this video, I'm just going to show you on how to get an e-visa for Filipinos who wants to travel to Pakistan. Recently, I have applied uh, for an e-visa going to Pakistan. I think I have submitted it last se June 17th and I got my visa uh, last July 4th. So basically, I have applied for uh, a single entry and they do give like six months uh, to enter the country. Okay, to start with, uh, you just need to visit the website and uh, it's in the, the description box below. So it is a Pakistan online visa application for Filipinos. Okay, so this is the home page wherein you can check different uh, categories for visa. And also, you need to ensure that uh, your country is included in the 175 countries. So Chenekolang is Philippines. So we are on 125. Okay, so you need to go back to the home page. And uh, with that, you just need to do the four steps, which is register, fill application, you need to pay online, and get your visa done. So basically, you start with uh, applying your visa. You just need to ensure that uh, all details are correct. So since I have an account, I need to log in uh, on my existing account. So you just need to type in your email and uh, your password and you just cap uh, captcha. So kung wala pa kayong uh, account, you need to create an account. So it's an easy step as well. So you just need to validate your account. So you just need to log in. And then there's terms and conditions that you need to tick or you need to check that you agree on those. Uh, so just make sure you, you read it. And you just click accept. So, ito yung itsura niya kapag naka-enter ka. So, if, since meron akong visa, uh, I'll just show you uh, yung summary ng visa ko. So, pero kung bago ka lang, you have to click the new application. So, I was just checking the country. So, Philippines is included. So, you can start your uh, e-visa application in that button. But since meron ng ako, I just click the existing application and yun, andun siya sa completed kasi uh, yun, tapos na yung visa ko, I mean, na-issue na yung visa ko so these are just the details uh, I have paid 25 uh, USD so, okay, on the next page is the application summary I just want to show you the uh, how does it look like and in the visa uh, application summary is uh, Doon mo makikita yung uh, passport number, full name, passport number, the visa category, which is tourist, and then the shower date. Uh, yung tet, ito is tentative lang naman to. So, uh, yun, August 15 to August 13, yung nilagay ko during application. And then the application type is the uh, first time application, and then the visa type is the single entry, and the required visa duration is for one month. But they have options, so bahala na kayo kung ano yung options nyo doon, and then the visa subcategory as well. And kung kailan ako ang new entry point. So basically, yun, yun lang yung laman ng application. Ayun, uh, on the next page is the passport information. So where you just need to fill up your, of course, uh, passport number. So it basically is more on the passport lang naman. And make sure na correct yung details mo. And personal details is your name, uh, country of stay. So ako, since I'm living in Dubai, so... I have put United Arab Emirates and place of birth. So these are just the basic information. So nothing uh, special on this uh, field. So you can just fill in. And for the other nationalities, you can fill in if you have dual citizenship. So yun, on the next page is the contact details which shows your resi residential address. Mine is uh, UAE and then landline number, the email address, your uh, kung ilang years ka na sa residence na yon and your mobile number and also your family uh, information like your father details and your mother details if uh, other information are not available you can leave it blank so they don't have you don't have to fill in kung hindi naman required or 
kumbaga hindi naman applicable. So, and your spouse details as well. Um, and then, uh, next uh, field is the uh, employment uh, information, wherein you can just put uh, the name of the company, how long you, or date of joining, the company name, and the company address. So, basically, it's more of uh, your finance and employment information, and even yung previous employment mo. So, specifically, ako for Dubai ang nilagay ko kasi nandito ako sa Dubai. And also, yung uh, bank account information. So, you don't have to fill in that uh, information kasi it will ask you kung may bank account sa Pakistan which is wala naman. And your traveling history. So, you don't have to support this pero make sure na match sa uh, passport mo. And then, uh, on this page, uh, uh, there will be questions kung saan ka pupunta sa Pakistan. So, make sure na yung default na, like Kashmir and Azad yata yun, make sure na uh, naka-no pa doon para there would be uh, no, I mean, walang probability na uh, madinay ka sa visa application mo. Parang, I think yung lugar na yun is parang nilidin nila yung tourist. So basically, this uh, field or the form is more on yung kung meron bang visa refusal sa, sa Pakistan yung nag-apply ka and your criminal record which is uh, not applicable naman kung wala naman, diba? And uh, yun, uh, if you see the visit information, uh, will you visit as a Jammu and Kashmir, you just, need, you just need to say no. And in this uh, field as well is you will put uh, the hotel details or the bookings so make sure na uh, actually it's not required as per the requirements but you need to ensure na nakapagbook ka ng hotel kasi uh, i-attach mo siya as one of your supporting documents later on so ako nagbook ako sa uh, Shel uh, Shelton's Residor is booking.com so you just need to put on uh, yung details ng, ng hotel and yung area of stay information kung saan kang to stay sa Pakistan so basically uh, yung hotel address or kung saan ka man uh, magbubuk yun yung ilalagay mo and make sure na you ask the hotel as well kung nagpo-provide sila ng letter of invitation kasi one uh, requirement yun kung gusto mo mag-travel sa Pakistan without uh, someone or wala kang kakilala sa Pakistan since ako may kakilala ako so, ako, nag-provide ako ng invitation letter uh, from someone I know. Kaya, uh, hindi na ako nang hindi sa hotel for that uh, supporting document. Okay, ito na yung last part. Uh, it will show you the sponsor information. So, kung may sponsor ka sa Pakistan, you can put uh, all the details uh, for your sponsor. Pero kung wala naman, you can leave it blank. And then, last part is the uploading of the document. So, basically, they have three uh, re mandatory requirements, which is yung passport mo. So, uh, you just need to attach yung passport. And, uh, they don't accept uh, PDF uh, format. Uh, they accept JPEG and, and uh, basta photo. So, very limited lang yung uh, space or yung storage nila to, to accept yung supporting documents mo. Uh, and, and the other one is the uh, photo, and the other one is uh, uh, the letter of invitation. So, you need to ensure these three are uh, uploaded. Kasi, kung wala tong tatlong to, uh, uh, there will be, like, there's a possibility na ma-decline yung uh, application mo. But, they do ask kung may missing sa documentations mo or may gusto silang i-clarify. Ako, kung makikita nyo, di ba, letter by sponsor hotel, yan ang kailangan mo i-qualify. Since ako, may kakilala ako, so letter of invitation lang yung binigay ko. And then the passport and the photograph. And make sure na yung photograph is according sa according sa requirement nila kasi meron silang specific format for that. You can just check uh, during yung uh, uploading. Ang, uh, sa akin, ang ginawa ko nun, ni resize ko yung photo ko. Ako lang din nag-take ng photo ko tapos ni resize ko using an application online. So, madami siya sa online. So, you can just check. And the rest of the documents which I have presented is uh, I'm just going to list down below sa description box para mas detailed siya. Okay? So, ayun guys, uh, that's how you do it. So, basically, um, they just have three requirements. Uh, passport, 
photo and then letter of invitation. So for me, since I know someone from Pakistan, so he sent me an invitation letter. It doesn't have to be original. Uh, it just needs a scan copy, but you need to uh, uh, convert it into JPEG or what is that? A PNG because they don't accept PDF. And yun yung isa sa problema kasi uh, very limited lang yung uh, storage or let's say yung space. Uh, though it mentioned na tatlo lang yung documents requires, uh, you submit as well uh, the additional uh, documents like uh, bank statements, the NOC or no objection certificate to, to travel and uh, salary certificate and uh, your uh, letter of intent as well like uh, you're just telling in the letter that uh, you just wanted to visit Pakistan for tourism purposes and uh, your your information in that letter so if you want a sample letter you can just uh, message me and uh, I'll, I'll send it to you I'll send it to you uh, the sample letter and uh, what else needs to be uh, so I pay 25 USD and that is non-refundable. So if your visa will be denied, then you will lose that 25 USD. And um, I just uh, yeah, hotel bookings as well. You need to include and then the detailed itinerary because uh, they will check kung saan yung punta mo because they also consider yung uh, security mo, especially if you're a female traveler. So you just need to ensure that uh, you support every thing during your uh, submission mo ng application kasi it's very important that uh, they they get to uh, validate your uh, supporting documents so i hope you you get something from this video and sana uh, balitaan niyo ako if uh, ever man na uh, nakarating kayo ng Pakistan if you get the visa or if you have some questions you can just uh, comment down below and uh, you can just reach out to me at uh, any questions related to the visa process and I am hoping that uh, on my next vlog it will be uh, my Pakistan journey. See you and thank you for watching and please do subscribe uh, to my channel for more updates about my Pakistan.